Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video. It is almost Thanksgiving and I thought why not do a challenge where you have to put on your makeup using cooking utensils. So today I am going to be applying all of my makeup with everything that you would use for your holiday cooking. Now I'm not a big cook. I do know how to cook, but I don't enjoy cooking. So I really had to think quite hard on what items to use. Bear with me. So here we go. Okay, first things first, I better put on a bib because, or a smock, because when you're cooking, that is definitely something that you need to have to protect you. So I have somebody's little smock. I don't know whose, but some little kid, priming my lids first. I have not done that. So I'm gonna use this tart, and I'm just gonna go in with, I think this is a screwer um, when you're doing your grilling, and I'm just going to put my primer on. Now the one good thing is with this challenge, you can use your fingers because when we cook, we do use our fingers for things. So that is a good thing. Ooh, this thing hurts. Be very careful. Now, don't try this at home by yourself, kids. You might wanna have parental supervision on some of the items that I chose. I definitely wouldn't want to be sued or anything like that for anybody that went and did something that caused them harm. So use caution. Let's see. All right, I'm gonna go into this on the go palette and I'm going to clean off. Oh, I've got to set my, hmm, okay. I've got to set my primer. So I use this RCMA and I have my little Petri dish and I'm going to <clears throat> just tap some in here to set my primer. I'm gonna use this brush. Um, I guess you dust your turkey or whatever off with it and I'm just going to um, dust a little bit of this on my eyes to set that primer. Careful not to poke myself in the eye. All right, now I'm going to start. Um, hmm. Okay, I'm gonna do the transition color. I'm just gonna go in with um, this color right here and I'm just going to use um, my fingers. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna kind of dust that on my eyes all over. Okay, not much of a transition color there, but all these colors are pretty light. To deepen that crease a little bit, I'm going to go into this smoky grayish kind of color here. Gonna clean off my finger and this time I am going to try to use um, another one of these sticks here. A lot of fallout. And you can use the side of this to blend it a little bit. Yeah, it kind of rolls. Roll it, blend it, roll it, blend it. Now, we're gonna have some fruit. Um, and so here's my melon ball thing, Gerber Bobber. And um, what am I gonna do? Well, good question. Um, I don't quite know. So I was thinking that I was, I guess I should have used this when I was doing my transition color because it would have helped me to get a better line. So you can definitely do that if you want a more precise line. Just use your little melon thing and go for it. So I'm cutting my crease is what I'm doing right now. Cutting my crease, yeah. That is how you cut a crease, look at that. I'm now ready for my lid. Okay, so um, now I'm gonna go into the bod. 
I'm gonna go into the bod and um, I want, I'm not gonna do, I don't know if I'm gonna do a wing liner or not, but I want my bod to kind of be, um, I guess like an angle. So what is this guys? Um, that fork thing that you use maybe to pick up your fruit, I, I think, I'm not sure. Be very careful not to stab yourself in the eyes. Um, but there's my V right there. See that? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to, um, somehow use this same pointer thing and I'm going to start with my, uh, outer V. Whoa. Make sure you have it angled right. Okay, this is sort of dangerous. I think I am going to just use my cake cutter. We all are gonna have pie or cake or something. So there we go. I'm gonna do this. Look at that. Okay, trying to line that up. Now brows don't have to be twins, but wing liner, they need to be twins. I think I'm gonna try to use this Makeup Addictions um, Geisha. It is a very pigmented loose powder. And I'm gonna go in, uh-oh. Basically, these little sticks here, these are your friend. These are bamboo screwers, so you can use as many of these as you have to. And I'm gonna go into the Geisha Girl. Uh, but first, I feel like I need to have something on my lid to kind of make it stick a little bit. I don't know. So I have this ritzy uh, glitter glue, and I'm going to use the bamboo stick and put a little bit on my lid just so that it will stick a little bit and not fall everywhere. Now I'm taking that bamboo stick and I got a little bit of that geisha girl on the tip here and I'm going to push it up, oh, push it on there. Okay, there's gonna be some fallout and that's okay. And I'm going right up to where I um, did my transition color. This would be funny if this actually comes out better than when I use brushes. If you have fat fingers like me and you wanna blend a little bit, uh, this little fork, kid's fork. You're gonna have kids at your dinner and they're gonna need their little kid fork. So, um, I'm just gonna use that to kind of blend, I think. Oh, maybe that's not a good idea. Cause, uh, now by the way guys, I'm doing this cold turkey. No pun intended, but I haven't tried any of these items. So, um, this is a first time situation. Okay, I'm gonna go into the bod now. And I'm going to get the sharp tip of the bamboo sticks. get carried away like I am. This is liquid liner, so it's gonna smear. And try not to close your eyes. Or, no. Try not to open your eyes so that you'll smear that everywhere. Try to keep your eye open till it dries. This, oh my God, I got makeup everywhere. Help me. I look like I've been fighting with food. This is just some glitter I got from um, Bulk Glitters. And I will have everything listed in the description box. One thing I would say is if you're going to do this, definitely use a 
use a liquid liquid matte lipstick that you know that you know that you know that you know will dry matte Whew, dry baby dry okay foundation I'm gonna be using the Milani conceal and perfect and I am going to use um, a turkey baster, I think. <laughs> no, maybe I'm not gonna do that. I was gonna use a turkey baster, but I'm afraid that it won't come out because I won't be able to get the stuff down there. So what I'm going to do is, you know, we grill our you know, hams and smoke our hams and our turkeys and stuff. So I'm just gonna put a little bit here on this brush thing. And I even have some of this oil that I got in my BoxyCharm. So I'm gonna use a little bit of this Marjukia oil. And I'm going to do what's right and put a few pumps of that. Kind of like little finger massage and then of course you want to go down as far as you can on your neck just slap it on there for my concealer I am using my Tarte Shape Tape can't live without it love it I'm gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand and this is deep I'm gonna use my melon thingamajigger and I'm just going to do my concealer, a bit of the tan color, a little lighter. And you're wondering, I'm sure, how I'm going to blend all this in, right? Well, I am too. I'm gonna use my little, little knife. This is actually from the bar tending thing. Um, I don't know exactly what you do with it, but it, it's in my bartending kit. So I'm going to just work that in. It's going to take a while, but I'm going to get it. See that little hook helps because it helps you get right in there in the corner of your eye to that area you need to get. It's like spreading mayonnaise. Oh, you can get in that eye area really good. Look at that. I'm all the way in there. So we all have to have drying towel, you know, after we eat and we're full and we have to go ahead and dry those dishes. Well, I'm going to use this as my beauty blender. And I have my cup of water and I'm going to dip it in here. And I'm going to wring it out. And there's my damp beauty blender. And I'm going to take my fingers in there and I'm just going to finish blending that in. Set my concealer. Okay, well, if it balls it up a little bit, like, like it's flour, then move away from the wet part and just go dry. I'm gonna use this ColourPop I was like, well, what am I gonna use to blend in my contour? Well, napkin ring holders. Perfect, already round. Just stick your finger in there and just kind of. And if you can take it, you can use this brush here and just kind of blend. It's just like, mine is a little rough. I'm sure they make softer ones. Now, if the napkin ring holder does not work well with the nose contour, then you can just use a spoon or your melon ball thing and just kind of get in that area there. And I'm going to, for my brows, I'm back to the bamboo sticks. And I know everybody's heard about the soap brows. Uh, I don't have soap but I have candles, which we burn candles during 
holidays. So I'm going to attempt to use my bamboo stick to kind of give me some candle brows. I'm gonna do little wispies. These are gonna be kind of uh, wild, untamed brows. <laughs> They're crazy looking. Okay. We said the challenge had to have like Instagram ready pictures or are we just doing a challenge? I mean, cause um, um, perfection is not gonna happen here, I don't believe. Okay, I think that's a losing battle. I'm just gonna go ahead and dip into my um, concealer and it is cool beige and I'm going to put a little bit on the back of my hand and I'm gonna try to clean up my brow area. And I'm blending it downward and upward to try to um, get off the excess. Enormously stressful to say the least. Okay, but I'm up for the challenge. I am going to use my Tarte, Tarte Clay Liner, and I'm gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand, per use, and I'm going to use Bamboo Stick again. Try to buff it out with my brush. Just a little bit. And I'm also going to take this same brush and try to uh, blend out the harsh edges here at the top. No such luck. We're gonna do lashes and then we have lips and then the look will be complete. And I'm gonna attempt to put these on. I'm gonna turn sideways. Curl them a little bit with the tongs. All right, I'm gonna turn this way again and put this one on. And I see my earring is coming off as well. Okay, now I'll push that up a little bit. And I'm not even gonna attempt to do any mascara because that would be utterly impossible for me to get mascara. Well, I guess I could, yeah, I could do that. Okay, I have this. This came in the Power of Makeup with Nikki Tutorials and Too Faced. This is the purple um, mascara. So perfect. I'm going to take my fork and I'm going to just kind of scrape at it a little bit. Tap my bottom lashes a little bit. Use the Kylie Jenner and I wanna use that gorge because it'll go with all of my eye and everything. And my heart shape lip thing. <laughs> Everything's so awkward. Okay guys, last up is the highlighter. So I'm just gonna use the Ofra Cosmetics um, Beverly Hills highlighter. And I'm gonna use my brush here. And get my big head through this thing. I hope you liked my holiday glam using only cooking utensils. And so here is the finished look. I think it came out um, mm, no words, no words for it. Just, it came out. Um, I survived. And I hope you have fun with this challenge. Tag a friend, tell a friend, and let's just see YouTube full with all of the challenges for the holidays. And guys, as always, I thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and be sure to follow me on all my other social medias. Until our next video, until next week, guys, have a great week. I love you. Happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy your family and tell someone that you love them. Bye, guys.